It's loads like this right here where you'll have a bunch of miles, actual miles, but they only pay you for a certain amount of miles. But this one right here do have a backhaul. I had to get it all on my own. I had no water around. Them dog got floating. I got pushing. No, 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 Get off your hand, get on your feet, get you some money, baby. Get off your hand, get on your feet, get you some money, baby. Get off your hand, get on your feet, get you some money, baby. Get off your hand, get on your feet, get you some money, baby. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. Today, I'm mobbing it out in the old day cab, man. Um, and I'm up here in Birmingham, Alabama. This trip was like 348 miles or something, but. I'm going to show y'all how much they're paying me for. This trip does have two stops and a pickup at uh, Zingler, Miss Grand Salads. So, uh, I'm going to let y'all check this stupid ass load out as well, man. But, uh, if y'all haven't, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff, man. Without further ado, let's get straight into it. Let's do it. Okay, so, first off, y'all hear in the humming. Y'all see the big ass reefer behind me. That what y'all hearing. But, um, this trip is 386 miles. And uh, from Opelika to Birmingham, Alabama, like I said in the intro, it do is two stops and one pickup. But I'm only getting paid for 228 loaded miles, and they got the empty miles at zero. But I'm about to call them and and see what's real up because my empty, I'm not going back empty. I'm bringing the load back. You feel me? So I got to get paid for all this. You feel me? So. Here's a screenshot of the trip that I'm currently on right now. Um, got a break from Atlanta today, which is a good thing. Uh, Birmingham can get bad as well, for real, especially during rush hour, but I run at night. So I pretty much beat all that traffic getting here and getting to my stops. Now, I'm gonna run into it getting over here to my pickup, but it ain't that bad. By the time I get, by the time they done unload me and all that stuff, people that got to work and all that good stuff and i'd be pretty much normal traffic on the way back i'm not sure if i want to take 85 all the way back through um montgomery and all that or do i want to go back down through all uh, alex city and all that good stuff i may take the back road because this truck don't have crew control unfortunately so i'd be stuck doing 63 miles an hour on the interstate and that shit is miserable i'm not lying I'm not gonna lie, so I may take the back road to make it seem like I'm going traveling a tad bit faster because they're gonna get miserable on that interstate for like two hours doing 63. That ain't gonna work. But I just want to share this load because this is one of those loads where you have a back haul, but they still got your empty miles at zero, as y'all seen in that screenshot. When you're facing a situation like that, if you do decide to come over here to the swift side, uh, hit your dispatch up. Ask them what's really going on. Let them know you do got a back haul on that load. You're not coming back empty, so you got to be getting paid for that. You feel me? So I may end up getting the entire 386 miles that um that the, the whole trip is. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have to. Ain't no mic because I'm not going back empty. Not a bad trip. When I get back, depending on how long it takes these folks to load me up at Miss Grand Salad. I may not have enough time left on the clock to do another trip, but um, we just gonna see how that go, man. And if there's any other Swift drivers down there in the in the YouTube in the YouTube world or whatever, man, y'all run dedicated at another terminal. Y'all let me know how your terminal handling this type of stuff, man. Or do y'all get paid empty miles at y'all terminal or what y'all pay you like down that way, bro? I'm I'm I'm, I'm just trying to see. Like, what's the difference from area to area? Because I know there is a difference. But, um, good news is, I did get a couple emails back from a couple companies that I did apply for. Keep this shit all the way real. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all cross your finger for me, man. Uh, tomorrow, made two years that I've been rocking it out with Swift. And, uh, you know, it's time to go and make, try to make some big boy money, man. Even though I know the economy kind of screwed for truck driver right now but i'm sure the companies out there they pay way more than this you feel me so what some people may feel like ain't really getting paid good i may get that check and be like god damn you feel me so different stroke for different folks man straight up 
But uh, I'm about to go back in. I'm about to go in here and let them unload me. The first stock had uh, 10 pallets. This stock got 16 pallets. So I probably just roam around Walmart or something like that. Just do some um, do some window shopping to see what I can see in there or whatever, man, until they get done. And I'll get back to y'all when we get to Miss Scranton. And uh, we're going to wrap that video on up. And y'all leave y'all opinions. Y'all leave y'all opinions and comments in the comment section below. Let me know how y'all feel about these type of loads or what would y'all do in this situation if y'all was in my shoes. I know a great majority of y'all going to be like, get the fuck away from Swift. <laughs> I know that. I'm planning on doing that, fellas. But, uh, you know, like I told y'all in the last couple videos, I'm just trying to get my experience up. I don't want to be job hyping, job hyping, job hyping. The next job I get as far as trucking go, fellas, I want to be a power move from this right here. If that makes sense. I don't want to leave here and go somewhere that's basically paying the exact same thing or maybe even worse. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to make my next move my best move. So leave y'all comments in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think about this load, man. And I'll get back to y'all when we get to Miss Scranton and start getting loaded and all that good stuff, man. Let's get it. All right, y'all. So we done made it over here to Miss Scranton, man. About to get loaded. Uh, most of the time when I come over here, they normally send me back with probably like five or six pallets. It can be anything from bologna to sour meat to uh, goddamn sausages, any damn thing that uh, Zingla produce. But it's normally not even a, a full load, man. It, it's not even a half load. I normally get four or five pallets and you hear the back. It's loads like this right here where you'll have a bunch of miles, actual miles, but they only pay you for a certain amount of miles. But this one right here do have a backhaul, so I'm not going back loaded, empty. My bad. I'm not going back empty. So uh, I already talked to them or whatever. They're going to straighten it out because I do understand they don't pay empty miles. But if I'm coming back with something, I ought to be compensated for that because I'm, um, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I got a load on me. And even if, you know, even if I didn't have anything coming back with anything i feel like any company that doesn't pay empty miles bro i feel like in a way they they getting over well really not even in a way they are getting over because your trip back you basically just driving willy-nilly bro like you ain't even making no bread for doing that and i feel like if you behind the wheel of any company truck bro and you're doing the job for them, which in turn making them millions and making the company that they're working for, which is Walmart and Swill, if they're making hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars and stuff like that right there, bro, I feel like the ones that actually got the business turning and moving and thriving should be getting paid for every single mile that they're sending these seats, bro. Like soon the wheel crack the pavement. We should be getting paid till we log out of this tablet and go home, bro. We should be getting paid a, a flat rate just for even driving. You know what I'm saying? Just for even getting behind the wheel, bro. It's crazy that, you know, guys have to go through all their training to get your CDL. And, 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 you know, you go through so much trying to get your CDL and maintain your CDL, bro. Just to get treated like a goddamn scrub at the end of the day, bro. That shit is crazy to me. It's just absolutely crazy to me, man. But hopefully one day this shit will pick back up, man. And, you know, all of us out here that got America moving, got America moving, you know, no matter what company you with, you know what I'm saying? If you taking the load from point A to point B or vice versa, bro, like, we all should be treated like goddamn... Like, 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 we actually got America moving. You feel me? Because truck drivers get treated like shit, bro, and it's crazy. That shit absolutely crazy, bro. And they just don't know if all truck drivers ever came to a conclusion and say, bro, we ain't pulling now another goddamn load within a week's time, maybe two weeks tops at the very top, two weeks of trucks not running, Bro, it's going to be an apocalypse out this motherfucker. It's going to be a whole apocalypse, bro. And then they'll get the goddamn picture. But, you know, that shit, that's wishful thinking. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to share this load with y'all, man. 
Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what y'all think, man. I'm about to all uh, put a little something on my stomach. Get ready for the two and a half hour ride back. Uh, right now, I got seven hours on my 11. And hold up. Got seven hours on my 11 and eight hours on my 14. And my week just getting started. I'm just getting back to work. So I got a full week ahead of me. So my seven hour clock pretty much full. I already did my re my 34 reset. But um, yeah. There we at, man. When I get back, you know what I'm saying? I may not I may not take another one because I gotta go up here, my kids up and all that good stuff, man. My nephew got a birthday party and all that good shit. They got the 10, I ain't gonna cap. And I don't want them to miss that. So yeah, that's what I got going on. But if y'all found this video information in any way, shape, or form, any type of entertainment y'all get out of this, you know, um, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff, man. And I'll be back to y'all with another crazy ass load, I'm pretty sure. But uh, until the end, this your boy Q, and I'm checking out with another one, man. We are. Get off your head, get on your feet, get you some money, baby. Get off your head, get on your feet, get you some money, baby. Get off your head, get on your feet, get you some money, baby.